everybody, welcome to Outside the Box with Tony Vaughn. I am a sucker for all things Halloween, hence the shirt and the background and the intro. I hope you liked that because I had so much fun putting that together. <laughs> so it is the month of October, my favorite month of the whole year. And um, you know, though the show is usually about a lot of things about spiritual growth and personal growth and things like that, I wanted to have a little bit of fun. So for this episode, I went over to a friend of mine and uh, to her house and there was several other ladies there. And um, if you remember Kirsten, the medium from episode number one, she was there with us and did a group reading. So um, boy, about halfway through, partway through, uh, my girlfriend's husband came home and didn't tell anybody he was home and started making noises outside and scared the crap out of all of us, which just made it that much more fun. So anyway, I hope you enjoy this. Um, you know, October is a time of having a little bit of fun and being silly and remembering how fun it was as a kid to dress up and, you know, kind of believe in all the things that you can't see that are a little bit spooky. So happy Halloween to everybody and I hope you enjoy the show. Okay, this is fun Halloween spooky episode outside the box. Just wanted to get a scan of the room. So we've got our lovely ladies. Everybody's got the, gosh, you guys are awfully quiet. <laughs> <laughs> yes, all right, we're gonna get this party started. Crime is what I meant. Okay, because, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, I was just going to say you guys are really into this and Halloween and all this stuff. And my birthday's on Halloween. So it's just kind of cool. Really? Yeah. Just coincidentally. Thank you. Um, okay. All right. Okay. Daisy. So what do we want to say for you? Um, okay. I am seeing the DN. So that's a Dan for you. Yeah. You don't have I a D. Daisy. And you know. Daisy was his sister's dog. Okay. So I think I'm Danielle I might. is a daisy. <laughs> okay. I swear this this could really yeah. all be connected. I'm telling you because our loved ones just it's what I call the economy of spirit, where one thing has two meanings and sometimes three meanings, you know, for different people in the room. So don't think it's coincidence or anything. It isn't. It's just the way they work. Um, okay. So Dan and Daisy. Okay, what else do we want to say here? Um, okay, I'm seeing like a large body of water. So, um, did you, do you have memories of like being on the water or something? Is this like vacationing with your family or living on the water? Did somebody have like a view of the water? Daniel died. Oh. Close to water. Okay. That may be it. I'm just seeing like a large body of water though. Okay. That might be what they're trying to tell me. Okay. Um, okay. So what else do we want to say here? Okay. Oh gosh. I have so many people here. It's unbelievable. Usually I say like five for every person, but I feel like there's more <laughs> just cause you're all connected and you're all open and it's great. You know, it's just like a big party. Um, here and there. Okay. Um, do you have a Michael as well? Yeah. Okay. I am definitely with you. Okay, Michael, what do we want to say here? Um, and then I hear uncle. Do you have an uncle that's passed? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. He's here as well. Um, I'm telling you, you have a lot of people on the My other side. Michael passed too. Wow. No coincidence. <laughs> I just got a huge chill. When you get a chill, it's just a confirmation from spirit. Like, yes, yes. Yes, I'm really glad you're open about that. So, you know, because some people would just be quiet, like, oh, it's her turn. But then, you know, you don't get the full whatever of the reading. So, we have a clean Somebody died near the, near the water. <sighs> I have so many people here. I'm just trying to sort them out. So, um, car. Okay. Is there anybody that passed in a car accident? Yeah. Okay, that's you. Was that the guy that was near the water? Yeah. Okay, definitely here with you. So he's definitely here. That's Dan. Is that Dan? Okay, um, just sending his love. Um, yeah. And 
did, did you guys have a love relationship? Because it feels like love, love, love. I love her. Um, I'm hearing the Beatles song and I love her. So I don't know if there's a connection to the Beatles for you, but I hear that song. Okay. Um, so you have to listen to that song. It's beautiful. Um, okay. And he just makes me feel like I'm out of my body. So even if, you know, you wonder if they suffer or something like that, and I just feel like I'm out of my body, even if I'm still breathing, I'm, I'm not feeling anything. There's like, I'm, I'm ascending to heaven. <clears throat> he makes a joke about heaven. <coughs> like, can you believe it? I'm in heaven. I made it. And um, this is a very sweet, sweet person. Very sweet soul, funny. There's a little bit of a, um, not shy, I'm not sure how to say it. Um, uh, Self-deprecating or something like that. Um, personality here. And he comes through with his personality just out of love for you, you know, trying to give me as much as he can so you know it's him. Um, is there also a connection to an M state for you or him? Because I see M, so it was Massachusetts, Michigan, I don't know what this is, Minnesota. Okay. Okay. Um, there might be somebody else coming in. Because um, the M feels very big, but I know, I just feel it's connected to a place. So if it's not a state, it may be a, a place, like town, city, something like that. <laughs> no! It's M, M, M. Okay. Um, all right, what else do we want to say here? Right, so left his body, and um, this just feels like, it almost feels like a freak thing. I don't know, it just, just feels, it doesn't feel normal, like a traffic accident. It feels like a freak accident. Okay, um, whew, excuse me there. Um, I also see the F. Do you have like Frank or Fred or somebody with F? He he's come to me previously about a Frank or Fred. And I don't know what he means. Okay. That. Okay. So if you can clarify that. That'd be okay, great. <laughs> I'll ask. <laughs> Let me see. Um, sometimes they're just trying to say hi to a friend or something. But you know, you would think you would know everybody connected to him, important I've to him. It. I okay. Know, I have no idea. Okay. Um, let me see. I don't know if he'll give me more about that or if I can receive it, but I will try if he can. Um, okay. What else do we want to say here? Oh, it's interesting. You said Guatemala or something, but do you, do you have a memory of Tijuana? Because I feel Tijuana. Yeah. Okay. It's bringing up this and I feel like this is like memories. I don't know. Just connected to him. And, um, right. And it also feels like you maybe knew him from a young age or something. I don't know. It feels like a long time to me. Does that not make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. Okay, good. Just want to make sure. Um, okay. So just still very connected to you. He does show me your head on the pillow, which is my symbol for I'm coming to you in your dreams. Do you remember dreaming about him? So those are visits. When you, do, when you remember it, it's like we hug, we kiss, we talk, things like that. So he's very strong, just out of love for you. Just, you know, love you, babe. You know, that's just what I get. Love you, babe. And always will. Um, and there's a real emphasis on the word always. So I don't know if that has meaning for you. Sometimes, you know, when they give me an emphasis on a word, it's because it's like on something or something like that, you know, in a card or how he would sign or, you know, whatever. Um, okay, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, interesting. Was he in the movie business or something? Or are you? I don't know. Okay. Because I'll tell you why. I just got a feeling of, you know, that movie Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? There just all of a sudden that sort of came into me and I was like, oh, why am I seeing this? He might be trying to tell me something else, but I thought he was just like in the business. Maybe there's a Hollywood connection there. I don't know. Um, We're close to Hollywood, right? We're close to Hollywood. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
But it just, you know, this is where the interpretation comes in. It feels like, oh, movie business kind of thing. And the, the movie is about the movie business. That's why I'm interpreting it like that. Okay. Um, but there may be a memory he's trying to give me or something like that. Okay. Uh, yeah. Were you actually married? Because he's showing me this. We were going to be. Yeah. He's showing me this, which is an engagement ring. Okay. Um, yeah, so, yep, and uh, he does, he says, I'm sorry. There's a sense of, um, I don't know why he's saying I'm sorry, but, um, usually when they do that, there's a sense of, like, taking partial responsibility. Doesn't mean that he meant to do this necessarily, but that something, his actions may have caused this to happen like whatever it is you know no. okay okay all right um okay and i'm also uh i'm getting mary again so i don't know if he has a connection to a mary or you do um but there's like mary and um i'm trying to see what what else might be somebody else trying to come in um you know, for somebody else, if you don't know that connection. <sighs> okay. All right, what else? Anything else you want to say? He showed me a pumpkin. So, I don't know why. <laughs> Did he call you pumpkin? I don't know why he's showing that to me. Or is there a real connection to like Halloween or something with you guys? Um, okay. To think about that okay. About yeah. All right, um, showing me a pumpkin. And like I said, sometimes, you know, somebody else just starts to come through and give me stuff. And so if you're not getting it, then it might be like somebody else who has that connection. Okay, so let's see what else. So um, I, I just want to ask, does someone else connect with, I, it might be for you because you said I had a connection to like October. It, it, does the pumpkin make sense to you? It might not, that's okay. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to see what this is because pumpkins are so associated with Halloween. So I thought there was a birthday or anniversary around this time. Okay. That's the one that I, that could be me. Oh, okay. Okay, so we're gonna jump to you <coughs> and see. Um, <laughs> you're like, um, <laughs> yes. Okay, so what else? If this is for Tony. Um, okay. Yeah. So interesting. Okay. Um, it's so interesting because I feel like, okay, let's see if this is for Tony. What do you want to say? And I see a feather. And this may be a sign from spirit that you've gotten, but it also to me feels like a little bit of connected to shamanism or something like this. So I don't know if that connects for you. It's okay if it doesn't, but you know, I see a big feather. So this may be, you know, somebody giving a message to, um, through you to your husband, oh. to your husband or something like that. I don't know why, I just feel like it might be connected to him. My husband's an American Indian. Oh, yeah, it might be her. okay. <laughs> that may be what the feather is. You know what that? Feather not dot. Yes, exactly what I was thinking. Okay, so I'm thinking the feather, and maybe maybe it'll have meaning for you that I can explain as well. But because sometimes you know, spirit will actually send us feathers. One time I was doing a reading, like a you know one on one reading with this lady, and I was saying, you know, your mother or whoever it is is gonna sending you feathers, but in weird places, not just like oh I see a feather, but like on your car hood or on your doorstep or something. I just found a feather in the laundry. Okay. A giant red feather. That's for you then. Because I saw big, you know, it's big. It's not like a, a little... pirate yeah. feather. Okay. So Today. <laughs> the, the interesting thing, so that's definitely for you. The interesting thing about that is that in this reading, like I said to her, let me know if you find out because she said, I haven't seen a feather. I said, well, you will. She called me when she got home and she said, I opened my wallet and there was a feather in my wallet. And I'm like, you know, you can't make this stuff up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, how do you get a feather in your wallet? I don't know. <laughs> spirit, spirit. Or in your dry, dryer. Yeah, then. in your dryer. So that's what it is, that's for you. Here I'm trying to connect with you, but they're like in control, so I can't. Yeah, 
you know, I'm like trying, okay, Tony, feather. Tony. She's like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so that's for you. Um, okay, so. All right, so you're, okay. So that's somebody connected to you, him, whatever. That's your husband, you said, mm -hmm. is a Native American. Okay. Um, what do we want to say for him? Or for you, I should say. All right. All right. So is there someone who had a hearing deficit that you know of in your family? I'm just Most of the men in my family are <laughs> very deaf. Um, okay. Just yeah. feeling this, um, both ears. Sometimes they'll give me one ear or the other, but I feel like I'm impaired in both ears, like to the point where I really need help with this. Or I might not have gotten it, but I, I, I really can't hear very well. Um, okay. Do you have... P, I've seen P, um, but rather than the P-A, I feel like it might be Peter or something like that. Um, Pete, Rem know. remembering that it could be an animal as well. My husband's yeah. um, brother, Peter, died. Okay. So, Who's also, and you're also in TV. Yeah, that's true. Oh, okay. So we might be getting messages for both of you at the same time. So... You know a little bit of that um okay so peter okay um what else do we want to say here all right um and then does does somebody have like a cindy or cynthia it's like a s, s sound but i feel like there's a c there like a sydney oh sydney okay that might be for you because i'm like Sid cindy okay um all right, what else do we want to say here? It's like whoever is the strongest is going to get through, like her guy, you know, was super strong. And, um, <laughs> yeah, and I would like each person to get that stronger message, you know, if I, if I possibly can. Um, okay, so what do we want to say here? So you're, and then, do you have a J connected to you? Strong J. J, J, J. And strong J. Okay. So we're going to just, I don't know who it's for because you're both connected very strongly together, I feel like. Um, J, okay. Um, do you have two J's? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, two J's. All right. What else do we want to say here for you? <sighs> okay. Right. Did you have someone, um, or do you know someone who had a boat or something? Um, I'm seeing what seems like almost like a, a speed boat <laughs> rather than like a sailboat. Might be a memory. Okay. A lake. Okay. Yeah. I feel like I'm going fast. Yeah. And I'm going on this boat. I'm going really fast. And I'm like, like whoa. <laughs> okay. Um, definitely not like sailing, but zooming. Okay. Um, all right. So, like, okay, good. What else do you want to say? I'm just going to ask them. Okay. And then um, they're bringing me to the head area. So um, when they do this, this could mean a couple things. There's someone with cognitive issues um, or, like, actually, like, head injury. Does that make sense? Okay. Um, okay. What else do we want to say? Here. <laughs> it's only slightly used. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, okay, an injury. And then, um, what else do we want to say here? Okay. Oh, so much love is coming to you. I just feel it coming out of my heart chakra right to you. And um, also showing me the symbol of a heart. So, um, when they show me this symbol, it's not just like I'm sending you love, but the heart symbol, like they're showing you in different ways. So you might see it in nature, or you might have something that means something to you in a heart shape. But if you don't have it, you will f see this, you know, like they're like at a tree or a rock or something like that. Um, I feel like it's connected to nature in some way. Okay. Um, do you have Robert or Bob, Bobby? I heard Bobby actually, but 
Rubber sounds familiar, but I can't remember where. Okay. You're like a distant, someone I've never met. Okay. Yeah, I actually heard Bobby, but I like to see say every iteration of the name because if I don't, you know, if you call him Robert and I'm hearing Bobby, you might not get it. So just say Robert, Bob, Bobby. Okay. Um, My husband's name is Robbie. Your husband's Ooh. name is Robbie. Okay. That might be for you. We haven't touched on you yet, right? Um, <laughs> and do you have an E as well? I just saw E. My grandma. Okay. Is she passed? Yes. Okay. So that's for you. Um, okay. It happens. Okay, here. Yeah. Look. <laughs> um, okay, so your grandma and uh, your husband. Okay. So, um, right. Okay. She's showing me making stuff with her hands. Do you have stuff that she made? Yeah. Okay. Um, cause it, just because she's a grandma doesn't mean they yeah. all make stuff. But she, she's making me feel like she still has this stuff that I made. She doesn't call it stuff. I'm just referring it. Sorry, Grandma. Um, <laughs> I know it's very important. Um, but I don't always see exactly what it is, so that's why I just say stuff. Um, okay. Um, but is it actually like blankets rather than clothing? Blankets. Yeah. She okay. Knitted. Okay. Yeah. I figured it was knitting or crocheting because I've got a feeling of a blanket. So yeah, she's just saying made with love mm -hmm. and that's what she would say, right? Like made with love. Mm -hmm. And um, so you feel her, you know, you just feel connected to her when you see it or, uh, you know, touch it or anything, you know, and she says, oh, we talk, we still talk. So she hears you when you speak to her. She, mm -hmm. you know, whether it's just telepathically or out loud, she hears you. And she says, it is, I do talk back to her, you know, whether or not you believe it, it's like sometimes we think, oh, it's just my, you know, whatever it's called, like I really want to, I want it to be true, so I'm imagining it, but it really is true. They do speak to us and hear us. Um, okay. So what else? Okay, Grandma, let's see what else you want to say. Okay. Um, she's showing me a light. When they do this, it's usually a connection to electricity. So if you've ever seen like light flickering in your house, stuff like that, that's her. It's like a hello from heaven. Mm -hmm. And it could also be a TV, cell phone, but it's like electricity. She shows me the light. Um, all right, what else do you wanna say here? And um, okay, God, I'm hearing this old song. And I don't know who it's for, but the song is like called Bobby's Girl. So I don't know if you have a connection to that song. It's like from the 60s or something. You know, it's an oldie, whatever. Like, me too. But anyway, um, so, <laughs> but you know, like I grew up listening to this sort of music. And so I want to be Bobby's Girl is the song I'm hearing. Um, but it's sung by a girl. Okay. Just, I just, I just thought you might have a connection to it because your husband's name is Robbie, but that's right. okay if you don't. But if you like start hearing it on the radio and you're just like, that is weird. Cause I, you know, you may never have heard it or something. Okay. Um, cause you know, she may be sending it to you. Um, I do feel like she does like and approve of your husband. There's a feeling of like, you know, thumbs up. You're Robbie's girl. Um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, there's a feeling like she she says he's like very good looking. This is what she's giving me. <laughs> I think so. Okay, <laughs> well maybe you have the same taste, you know. Uh, okay, so she does uh, like him, and you know anybody who truly loves you, she's gonna love. You know what I mean? Um, it doesn't really matter what he looks like, but you know, this is her being practical now is like, yeah, of course, but he is good looking. You know, she does say that. Um, and there is a feeling of, um, keeping himself, uh, keeping up with himself physically. I don't know if, if you relate to that, yeah. But do you know what I mean? Like some people let themselves go, but I feel like he... You work out quite a bit. Yeah. Keeps, keeps himself in shape. Okay. So she acknowledges that. She just knows what's going on in your life. And um, do you have a son? No. Okay. I just heard son. So I always ask the client first. And if they say no, then 
she's probably talking about her brother her son i just want to say okay so if it's not you it's probably her just talking about her son um well, okay what does she want to say about her son is is your is she on your dad's side or your mom's side she's on your mom's side okay mm -hmm. So her son is not your dad. Okay, so she's just acknowledging her son. Um, what else? Okay, is um, so that would be your uncle? Is that right? Yeah. Is he having a hard time right now? Do you know? Kind of. There is a feeling of that. So she just knows, and she's trying to help. Disconnected. Okay, she's trying to help with this. There's a feeling of he's going through a hard time or something like that. And I don't know exactly what it is, but she's trying to help because, of course, she would want to keep everyone connected. Right. You know, she's like the glue. So she's right. working on it. And she does show me this. It's my symbol for, you know, hard headed. <laughs> so I don't know what she could do, but she's trying. You know, like sometimes they can do more from the other side than they could yeah. when they were here because. The feeling of hard-headedness is like you really can't talk to him. It has to sort of be his idea. Um, um, so, do you have an O in your family? I just sort of looked at you and I saw O. Ano is my mother's maiden name. Okay. Um, so I'm like, what is the I O? I came through earlier. <laughs> o. Oh, yeah. I missed our O. Oh, uh, yeah, that's okay. I was thinking it was Oscar Oliver or something, but it was for you. It was Otto. You and those names. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's okay. I have those in my family too. Um, okay. What else do we want to say for you? So who is Otto to you? Um, my, that's my mother's maiden name. So oh. my grandmother. Oh, okay. Okay. So that's your grandmother. Okay. Um, right. Grandmother, grandfather, and their... They're both past, is mm -hmm. that correct? Okay. Um, so showing me lung issues. So I don't know if that's them or someone else, but first I feel it here. Like, but then I feel, when I feel like shortness of breath, I feel like it's lung. Mm -hmm. um, so sometimes they'll show me, sometimes shortness of breath is something related to the heart. Obviously it's all connected, but when I get this, I do feel like something's going on here. So if someone had emphysema or COPD, lung disease, I don't know if you know if this is connected to you or not. Not sure. I know my mom is short of breath. She's still alive. Okay. Sometimes I do mention what's going on. Current events, you know. Okay. So, um, yeah. So this can be, you know, my, my aunt had this too. So there's a connection. It wasn't. I mean, it was related to her heart, but it also, it makes you short of breath, right? It's like, um, oh, it's slipping my mind. I can't think when I do this. I'm just in receiving mode. So if it's my thought, I, I can't even think. But you know what I'm talking about. Because yes. I see you're going, yeah, yeah, yeah. But don't say it because I know what it is. Okay. Um, uh, okay. Because my aunt had it too. Okay. Uh, let's see. What else do we want to say here? So... I don't know how old your mom is, but do you know if she has like a valve issue? She has AFib. Right. My aunt had that too. And they said she was like 85 when this started really happening. And they said if she was younger, they would have replaced a valve, but because she had a leaky valve. And so when they show me something from my own life, it's, um, but what they ended up doing is shocking her heart to see if it would start beating normally. And it did. And she lived to be just a few weeks shy of 90. So there's a feeling of this, like shortness of breath and like the, the AFib makes them, you know, their heart is not pumping properly. So she might have a valve issue or whatever. But anyway, um, so they just know what's going on. That's, you know, I never know what they're going to give me, but it just means that they're, they're with you and they're trying to help you know, trying to, um, you know, inspire you or whatever, motivate to go to like the right people and stuff like that. And if there is also a change, I feel like, I don't know if you're changing 
doctors or something for her, but there feels like something like that. There's a lot going on with my mom right okay. now, health-wise. Yeah, it feels like there might be a change in cardiologist or something like that. Okay. Um, so they're aware and they're working on, you know, getting the best people for this and stuff like this. And also I feel like a little bit of memory affected as well. I don't know if that makes sense to you, but just, you know, not like completely out of it, but just like not quite as aware as um, maybe she used to be. Um, okay. What else do we want to say here for you? Um, okay. Let's see. Okay. Um, so just sending love to you and your mom and just knowing that there's, like you said, a lot going on. And it's, it's, it, it feels like it falls on you. And that's why they're talking about it. Thank you. Yeah, because they acknowledge that you're having to carry the, the brunt of this. Figure things out, take her, whatever. And it feels like you're alone in this. And they're like, you're not alone, but we're with you. But it's like, you know, when you mentioned your sister, they're like, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. So <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Um, Even your relatives know she should. <laughs> I mean, sorry. I don't want to say anything nasty, so I'll just That's say okay. sorry. Yeah, like, um, That's clear. That's perfect. Um, but they acknowledge that you're doing like everything, like the heavy lifting, and so they, you know, thank you for that. Your your grandparents and um, that's that's just who you are, and they love you for that. You know, because you wouldn't just drop the ball. You have to, you know, they're like, it has to be done. And so, I'll, once again, it's me. Tag, you're it. Okay. Um, so that's important for you to know that they acknowledge that, you know, you're a good egg. There's a feeling of you're a good egg. They have. Yeah. So they often make me say stuff that I don't say. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you're a good egg. Okay. And, um, yeah. Yeah, lovely. Okay. And um, they're showing me flowers, so I'm trying to ask them what kind, because I'm not good with, you know, what kind. Unless they're roses, I don't really know what they are. Um, but there is a feeling of, like, some type of flower that's not, um, it's not roses. It's something else, like gladiolas, or something like a little bit more, or less common, I would say. My grandfather had a beautiful flower garden that my mother adored it was like a greenhouse okay so but the flowers that just aren't it's just not roses it's a lot of different things that i can't pronounce right mm -hmm. or i don't know they were in germany so that's why oh <laughs> okay i don't know german Come on. edelweiss i don't know <laughs> my mother's name was edel trout oh my god <laughs> i'm telling you they make me say these things i don't know it i think i'm making a joke but it's like her yeah. Yeah grandmother trying to say and is your mom passed as well no, no. okay because I thought you said was and I was like wait is her mom passed okay no, but there but my my grandfather's oh. garden was in Germany okay and yeah. Adel Trout Adel Trout is that a first or last name that's her first name oh wow, wow. yeah never heard Adel of that. Trout is the one name or is it Adel and then Trout nope it's Adel Trout one what? Yeah. does it mean something in English no, they just, but they call her Trudy because. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. No one, can, no one can pronounce it. Oh my God, Adel Trout, I love it. They made me say Edelweiss, I swear. Yeah. Okay, just to acknowledge, <laughs> that's crazy. Okay, I've heard everything now. <laughs> Adel Trout, I have to remember that. In case I ever get that one in a reading. <laughs> Is your mother's name Adel Trout? They'll be like, you're blowing my mind. <laughs> You must have looked it up. I'm getting an ED. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. All right. What else do we want to say? Um, okay. So, hmm, hmm. Okay. <laughs> Trying to make sure I get everybody here. Um, okay. What else? What else? <sighs> okay. Hello. Okay. Um, okay. What else here? Is there is there or was there someone in the medical field? Mm -mm. Okay. Well, like therapy, but yeah. Uh, okay. 
Yeah, I should clarify that because it can be nurse, psychology, EMT, medical field. Okay. Yeah, he was a psychologist. Okay. That would make sense. Yeah. Um, okay. And is that someone who passed? The, the psychologist? Yeah, it's my dad. Oh, okay. Okay. Here you go. Yeah. <laughs> Pass the Kleenex. Pass the wad. Okay. Yeah. So your dad is definitely here. All right. Okay. And he wants to say hello to your brother. And, um, and I don't know, like his birthday is October 16th, but that didn't say anything. It might be the pumpkin it reference. Might be the pumpkin, yeah. Like sort of, because uh, I was like right around now, Halloween time, whatever. Yeah. Um, because, you know, people are already putting up decorations and all of that. So that, that would be your dad trying to come through. <laughs> and then he's funny because he's like, hello. <laughs> it's my time, baby. Yeah, he's trying to, <laughs> trying to make you laugh, which is so sweet. Hello. What's what? that? Hello. Was, that's not a normal sound. Uh, it's 1152. What is that? That's all right. I know. I'm like, well, I've had this. I've had stuff happen, very small stuff, like knocking when I'm doing readings, but it's. Me, my husband. Okay. Oh, my God. Freaking get it. We're all like, oh, my God. my chest. <laughs> books, 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 books. Do you still have his books? He's referring to books. Uh, I guess so. I don't know. We haven't gotten rid of any of this. Oh, okay. So, um, just very, uh, somebody it, it just feels very connected to books and constantly learning. There's never a time when he's not like curious about people and what he's doing you know he's really into it and at books 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 when they show me like bookshelves it's like you still have his books I feel even if you haven't gone through it, that's fine he just is very sort of connected to the books he doesn't like I've never had spirit really care if we get rid of stuff we're more attached to it than they are it's just stuff but he does acknowledge that these things were important to him you know um, and you work in the business? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm just seeing like a camera. So I'm just like, camera? I don't know. Okay. Um, he acknowledges what you do. And um, okay, what else do you want to say? <sighs> He's a little more polite than some of these people. So that's why it's taken longer. <laughs> that totally makes sense. Yeah. Very like, yeah. He, yeah, he would. This is what the polite people, they'll wait till like. probably won't. They'll wait till like, probably won't they'll wait like, like everybody else already, has like, had a chance. It's hard. It's yes. Hard. That's, that's. That's what happens um, when they're very polite, and that's just a confirmation that you know it's him, it's his personality. I'll wait till everybody's done, and yeah. if there's time, yeah. I'll say something. Totally, my dad. Yeah. Did. Okay, great. Um, so I do feel like there is uh, papers. The, the, was there a bit of a mess with yes. papers and stuff like that? Yeah, like a total pack rat. Yeah, he acknowledges, like, yeah. sorry, sorry about this. Yeah. Like, I should have... is just going through, like, yeah. every, like, right before she came, she's staying with me now. Yeah. Um, like, two days ago, she's like, I'm just uh. going through a study. There's so much shit. Yeah. Like, There's so many receipts. He kept every water yeah. bill He talked receipt. about papers. Oh, my God. And, like, so sorry. Funny. He's like a sheepish, yeah. sorry, you know. <laughs> So yeah, <laughs> so he acknowledges this. He's like, you know, I just couldn't control myself. I just feel like I had to keep track of everything, and I feel like even though it's like stuff everywhere, he's like, I know where everything is. That's the feeling of like, I, you to ask me for that receipt, I'll find it. Yeah, I know where it is, even though nobody else would believe me. But you know, um, he's like recycle you know just get rid of it it's fine you know tell your mom don't feel bad about throwing stuff away because literally he doesn't care um whatever she doesn't need to hold on to you know 20 year old um appliance things or something like that there's also this feeling of that keeping like manuals and things like that yes okay yeah, yeah.